And our sea of garlic here in northern Michigan, the scapes are starting to appear. I can look in the middle of them and you can see right here is going to be the scape. Let's go for a better one right here. This right here, that is going to turn into the scape. It's going to get quite longer and then do this really cool curly Q thing at the top. And then you're just going to go ahead and pinch it or cut it right down here at the bottom to get rid of the scapes. It will send the energy back into the garlic. Within a month, we will be harvesting the rest of the garlic. So that's why we need to go ahead and cut these to send the energy back down into where we want it to grow and not these here. Now, what do you do with these scapes? Well, they're delicious. You can use them for sauteing or frying up when you're making your eggs or soups or anything like that. They have a garlic taste to it. You can also make uh, like fried onion rings with them and you just use garlic scapes and you shape them. I've got a video I'll link to it and you just shape them into that and you fry them up. It's kind of a, a treat, you know, in my 80-20 rule where you kind of do a little fry with something, fry that stuff up instead of doing it all the time. But garlic scapes are, that's kind of a fun way to use them. So here they are.